Hi everyone, Brad Browning here, and you're watching episode 10 of my Ask Brad video series where you send in your questions and I answer them. So uh, thanks to everyone who sent in a question since my last episode. And if you'd like to ask your own question to possibly be featured in the next episode, please just uh, click the link below to go to my Ask Brad video where you'll see some instructions on how to ask your question. You can just leave it in the comments below that video. So uh, click that link there, or uh, I'll also have that link in the description as well. So let's start uh, this episode with a question from David Hess. And David asks, uh, he says, Hey Brad, it's been about a month now since my girlfriend broke up with me and she told me it was because I'd grown distant and that she didn't appreciate me not contacting her. There were a few times that I would text her on and off. So my question is, is it wise for me to go through no contact? I only started about two weeks ago and I'm worried this might make things worse. Thanks for your question, David. Um, it's a good one. Um, first of all, I would, I would say that um, you need to be skeptical when your ex gives you the reasons why they broke up with you. I mean, in this case, it, you said that uh, it's because she said, you'd grown distant, but it's very possible that uh, she was not telling you the entire truth and that she may have been just telling you this uh, distant excuse so that she didn't hurt you or that she didn't want to go into the real reasons why. So take, take her words with a grain of salt on that one. Um, secondly, to answer your question, yes, you should continue with the no contact uh, period. Go through the full 30 days. It's very important that you uh, make sure that your ex knows you're not going to be waiting around for her. You're not just uh, at her beck and call whenever she wants to talk to you. So definitely continue with the uh, 30 days of no contact. And when the 30 days of no contact is over, remember to start rebuilding attraction. You want her to feel attracted to you again. So to do that, you can uh, send some of the text messages that I talk about in some of my other videos here on YouTube or also in the uh, video presentation on my website, breakupbrad.com. Hope that helps, David. Uh, thanks for your question. Okay, and the next question uh, is from Harsha Vardan, and Harsha says, Hi Brad, uh, me and my ex broke up 18 months back, and the main reason was jealousy, and I've tried the no contact rule and everything else, but nothing seems to work out well for me. I've been regretting my breakup, and I want her back, and I want to be happy again. Please help me. Thanks for the question, Harsha. Um, Unfortunately, I'm going to have to give you some bad news here. 18 months is a very long time, and realistically, uh, your chances at this point are probably fairly low. Uh, I know you still uh, want her back in your life, but the reality is that's probably a very unlikely scenario. So my suggestion is to um, basically move on. You're not going to close any doors. I mean, if, if your ex comes back to you, you know, a few months down the road and says, hey, I want to get back together, you can still do that. But for now, for now my suggestion is to uh, move on, uh, start dating other women, and just generally uh, look for someone new. And hopefully your ex will come back to you in the future. If not, hey, at least you're, you're out there, you're recovering, and you're enjoying life and possibly finding someone new. Thanks for the question, uh, Harsha. Appreciate it. Okay, and the next question is from Robin Burgess. And uh, Robin says, Hey, Bad, please help me. Everything worked out perfect, and I'm close to winning her back. But the last step seems not to happen because every time I want to see her, she comes up with excuses. How can I make her feel that she has to see me and come back together with me? Thanks a lot. Hi, Robin. Thanks for your question. It is a good one. Um, I'm sorry that you're in that situation and that your ex continue to make excuses. Uh, it can be very difficult if your ex does continue to uh, indicate that she doesn't want to see you or hang out with you. Now, typically the reason behind this is because you haven't rebuilt enough attraction. You haven't gotten to the point where she actually wants to hang out with you because she's interested in you and you've, you've been a little mysterious and you've done some of the self-improvement things that I recommend in my X Factor Guide program during the 30 days of no contact. And the point of all of that basically is to get to the stage where your ex is attracted to you and attracted enough that she's going to jump at the chance to hang out with you. So one sneaky little trick you could use is to ask your, your ex to hang out, just like you have previously. Um, say at some point, ideally where she's not going to be able to respond right away. And then after you send that first text asking to hang out with her, you wait maybe an hour, and then you send another text and say, uh, sorry, this is hopefully she hasn't responded by the time you, you send the second text. You say, sorry, uh, actually, change of plans. I can't hang out tonight. I'm going to see that new movie with, uh, one of, with a new friend or something. Something like that that leaves a little mystery and makes it clear that you're moving on and that uh, you're a scarce commodity and you know she's got to act and hang out with you soon if, or else she's going to lose you forever to possibly whoever this new person is you're hanging out with. So that's just one little uh, trick you can use to start getting piquing her interest and rebuilding some attraction. So uh, thanks for the question, Robin. Appreciate it and good luck. Okay, I think we've got time for one more uh, question here, and this one comes from uh, Boy Tigas. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right, sorry if not. Um, and uh, he says, Hi Brad, my girlfriend, which is also my office mate, told me that she loves me, but she wants space, and she doesn't want me to sleep at her house again. And she insisted we should still be the same, talking, eating lunch together, etc. I applied the no contact rule, but she still keeps texting me. 
I replied to her text because I don't want her to feel that I'm ignoring her. Help me, please. I don't know what to do in this situation. I want her to miss me so much because I want her back. Thanks. Hi, boy. Thank you very much for uh, sending in the question. And it's actually a fairly simple question for me to answer because you do not want to be friends with your ex. If you want her back and you want to be in a romantic relationship, then you can't let her have all the power and just simply agree to be friends. She wants the best of both worlds and you can't let her have that. So essentially what you need to do is two things, really. One, you need to employ the no contact phase that I've talked about earlier in this video to make sure that she understands you're moving on and that you're, you're not gonna wait around for her and she can't just have the best of both worlds, like I said. Secondly, I also recommend uh, building a little bit of jealousy. You gotta be careful with this, but you know, flirt with some of the other ladies at the office. Maybe you know, drop a hint that you're going on a date with another woman. Basically, just make it known that you are a desirable commodity for other women and that if she doesn't act, if she doesn't agree to be in a romantic relationship with you, that you'll move on and find somebody new. So hopefully that helps. Uh, thank you very much for sending me your question. And that just about does it for this video. Thank you very much, guys, for sending in all your questions. Please keep them coming. And again, if you want to submit your own question to be answered in a future video, just uh, head over to that Ask Brad video where you can leave a comment, and I'll pick the uh, best questions to be featured in my next episode. Thanks a lot. We'll see you then.